Today we are going to solve model paper 2 which is useful for CET and other competitive exam. Let us see first question. Electrolysis of dilute NaCl solution was carried out by passing 10 mA current. The time required to liberate 0 0.01 mole of gas at the cathode is. Now to solve this question, first we should know which gas is liberated at cathode. Dilute NaCl that is aqueous NaCl. Now you know cations are migrated towards cathode here preferentially H plus ion migrated reduction takes place H2 gas is liberated at cathode while here anions are migrated towards anode preferentially this here oxidation takes place to form Cl2 gas that is Cl2 gas is liberated at anode. Now here we want to determine the time required to liberate 0 0.01 mole of hydrogen gas. Okay. Know this reaction which takes place at cathode. Here 1 by 2 that is mole ratio is 1 by 2. Now here current given in milliampere. First convert that into ampere. Now this here, this and this cancelled out. T is equal to this one that is calculate this which gives this one. That is 19.3 into 10 raised to 4. That is this is the answer. Now one more alternative method is available. You know this formula W is equal to ZIT. Know this one. Therefore W is equal to this. Now Z is equal to E by 96.00. Here substitute the values and calculate find out the answer. Okay. Answer same. Okay. Next Second question, here based on organic reactions, an organic compound A with element CH and Cl, that is this is alkyl halide or aryl halide reacts with the sodium metal in dry ether, that is this is a Woods reaction, gives compound B, which when reacts with the bromine in the presence of UV light, gives compound C. The compound C on alkaline hydrolysis gives compound D. Compound D reacts with thionyl chloride. In presence of pyridine gives ethyl chloride. Then compound A is. Okay. Now see the answer here. The given information. The last product is given. That is this one. And we want to find out this. Now go reverse. This is obtained by the action of thionyl chloride. That is this must be alcohol or carboxylic acid. But now here Wood's reaction etc. That is this should be alcohol. This is ethyl chloride. Therefore this is ethyl alcohol. Now this is obtained by alkaline hydrolysis of this. Means it should be alkyl halide. That is here it is a ethyl halide. Here bromine is used. Therefore it, it is ethyl bromide. Okay. Now. Action of this gives ethyl bromide that is this should be alkane that is this is ethane. Now this is obtained by Wood's reaction. Carbon atoms are doubled. It is ethane. Therefore this is a methyl chloride. Chlorine is present. Therefore option A that is compound A is compound A is now this option B methyl chloride. Now see here. Here also chlorine, chlorine present, but this is never because initial CSCL atoms are present. Next question, the actual mass of one molecule of carbon dioxide in gram is, you know carbon dioxide molar mass, that is one mole, one mole contains this much molecules which weighs 44 gram, then weight of one molecule is, cross multiplication gives this answer. That is this one. Next question. In green technology, adipic acid is prepared from. You studied. Adipic acid is obtained by oxidation of cyclohexene. But the question asked is in green technology. That is, it should be prepared from biodegradable compound. That is natural compound. You remember, adipic acid is prepared from by the action of enzyme on glucose in green technology that is answer is 
this one okay next question the formula of tin oxide is here tin 4 oxide that is this is given oxidation state of tin is a 4 now by stock notation you can determine this tin 4 given oxygen you know this then divide by common factor therefore SN2 and O then cross by shift these two here and this year one never written therefore formula is SNO2 okay that is SNO2 that is answer is this one okay an ionic compound XBY occurs in a FCC type crystal structure with B ion at the center of each phase and A ion occupying corner what will be the formula we know that B at the center of phase, therefore, 3. A, corner, therefore, 1. Therefore, formula is A, B, 3. Now, A, B, 3. This one. Okay. Question. Which expression represents de Broglie's relationship? We know that gives a relationship between wavelength and momentum. That is this one. Next question. Here, sequence of reaction given. The common name of compound B is, we want to determine the common name of this product. See here, here same sequence of reaction, chlorobenzene reacts with alkali under a drastic condition that is high temperature and high pressure. Therefore, here this bond breaks, nucleophilic substitution takes place. The medium is alkaline, therefore first sodium alkoxide is formed. Now, second step, here hydrolysis. Therefore, that gives phenol. Okay. Now, phenol reacts with nitrating mixture. That is concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4. By using this reagent, here nitration takes place. Okay. Here concentrated, concentrated. Therefore, nitration takes place at all ortho and pair of positions. Therefore, the compound, this, the common name is picric acid. Therefore, the answer is picric acid. Next question. The molar depression constant for water is this. That is, Kf is given. A solution of non-electrolyte, very important, in water is of this one. Molality is given. Then, its freezing point will be. That is, Freezing point of solution is. Okay. We know this formula. Molality given. Kf given. Okay. Next. Find out first delta Tf. And then. Freezing point of solution. This one. That is. 0 0.093 minus. Okay. That is this one. Next. Enzyme present in saliva and hydrolyzed starch is. Okay. We know this or remember this point. Insulin secreted by pancreas and it controls blood sugar level. This enzyme amylase secreted or present in saliva hydrolyzes starch. Okay. That is amylase. Answer is amylase. Next question. Here different effects given and this information here, inductive effect, hyperconjugation and resonance. Okay, consider this here, inductive effect. Inductive effect, it takes place or in the through sigma bond. Here only displacement of electron takes place, not delocalization. Here in hyperconjugation, here delocalization of sigma electrons. In resonance effect, we know that delocalization of pi electrons only. Okay. Therefore, see this here. Inductive effect, displacement of sigma electron that is S. Hyperconjugation, delocalization of sigma electron that is R. Resonance effect, here delocalization of pi electron that is P. SRP. Now, here SRP. Okay. Next question. 
हाउ मेनी कायरल कार्बन आइटम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन टू थ्री फोर ट्राई क्लोरोपेंटेन ओके हियर द फॉर्म्यूला इज टू थ्री फोर ट्राई क्लोरोपेंटेन नाउ दिस कार्बन इज कायरल डिफरेंट फोर ग्रुप्स दिस कार्बन इज कायरल डिफरेंट फोर ग्रुप्स बट सी दिस कार्बन हियर सी एल हियर एच बट दिस टू ग्रुप्स आर सिमिलर देर फोर दिस इज नॉट कायरल देर फोर ओनली टू कायरल कार्बन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर वी नो दैट डिपेंडिंग ऑन सोर्स नैचुरल सेमी सिंथेटिक एंड सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर्स ओके यू शुड नो द different examples of all these here semi synthetic these examples all rayons and cellulose nitrate because these are obtained manufactured by using the natural sources okay like cellulose therefore remember rayon cellulose nitrate these are the examples here therefore answer is viscose rayon next The number of unpaired electrons in the p subshell of sixteenth group element. We know sixteenth group, group number sixteen, that is NS two and P four six. Okay. Now here the box diagram. Here two unpaired electrons are present. Therefore, answer is this one. Next question: The net cell reaction in nickel cell. ओके निकेल कैडमियम सेल सी हियर निकेल कैडमियम एक्चुअली रिमेंबर दिस दिस निकेल इज एक्चुअली कैथोड एंड कैडमियम इज एनोड ओके नाउ एट एनोड ऑक्सीडेशन टेक्स प्लेस कैडमियम जीरो टू कैडमियम हाइड्रोक्साइड प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन हियर एंड हियर एट कैथोड रिडक्शन हियर प्लस फोर टू प्लस टू ओके reduction that is here the reaction is this and this reactant that is cadmium water and nickel oxide while products are hydroxide this cadmium hydroxide and nickel hydroxide now find out the product cadmium hydroxide and nickel hydroxide that is and the reactants are this correct this is the answer next the most powerful and least powerful reducing agent among the first group elements are respectively now the first group elements know this remember this is the most powerful and this is the least powerful that is lithium is the most powerful and sodium is the least powerful next one which of the following alkenes does not show geometrical isomerism now here names given first it is necessary to find out their structure now see their structures first here okay these are the structures of options a b c d here 3 methyl pentuene okay like this okay now here remember one sentence two atoms or groups must be different on each doubly bonded carbon okay see the doubly bonded carbon here these two now two different groups s yes, different therefore it shows geometrical isomerism here two groups these two groups different shows geometrical isomerism here this and this different this and this different shows geometrical isomerism now see here these two groups are different on this doubly bonded carbon but on this doubly bonded carbon these two groups are similar it does not show geometrical isomerism that is option d this one okay next see here again sequence of reactions given ethanol lucas reagent lucas reagent then gives a silver acetate b and then reduction gives c what will be the compound c is okay now uh, see here sequence of reactions here first ethanol given ethanol given then lucas reagent this oh is replaced by cl 
ओके न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन देन सिल्वर एसिटेट सिल्वर एसिटेट दिस वन हियर यू नो दैट सोडियम पोटेशियम एंड सिल्वर दे हैव अ ग्रेट एपिनेटिव फॉर हेलोजन दिस दिस रिमूव जॉइन दिस हियर इट गिव्स अ ईस्टर बिकॉज दिस इज अ सिल्वर सॉल्ट ऑफ एसिड एंड दिस इज अ अल्किल हेलाइड दिस इज अ ईस्टर दिस ऑन रिडक्शन हियर रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इज निकेल एंड हाइड्रोजन बाय यूजिंग दिस रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट ईस्टर इज रिड्यूस्ड टू करस्पॉन्डिंग अल्कोहोल दिस अल्कोहोल इज फॉर्म रिमेम्बर हियर ई प्रोड्यूसिंग एजेंट दिबल एच इज यूज देन इट गिव्स अल्डी हेड हियर रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इज दिस वन देर देर फोर प्रोडक्ट इज अल्कोहोल एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग अल्कोहोल दैट इज इथेनॉल इज फॉर्म नॉट इथेनॉल दैट इज एंसर इज बी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेम ऑफ द कंपाउंड फॉर्म वेन बेन्झॉइल क्लोराइड इज क्रिएटेड विथ इथेनामाइन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पेरिडेन ओके नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू डिटरमाइन द नेम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट क्लियर द रिएक्टंट्स आर इथिलामाइन एंड बेन्झॉइल क्लोराइड now remember here one point when hydrogen is attached to nitrogen or hydrogen is attached to oxygen in case of phenol ethanol amines okay when treated with acyl chloride that is acetyl chloride or benzoyl chloride then this h replaced by this acyl or this benzoyl group therefore the product is here this h here is replaced by this benzoyl group now the name of this product here on this nitrogen ethyl group is present that is n ethyl and this is a benzenamide okay that is n ethyl benzenamide n ethyl benzenamide next question here for adsorption of gas on a solid the plot of log of x by m Versus log p is linear with the slope equal to. That is, we want to determine the slope. Now we know this equation. Okay. Now we require the log of x m x upon m. That is here log, then log here. Okay. Next. Now rearrange this equation. This here and this here. Now this equation is in the form of y is equal to m x plus c. Okay. Now this is on y axis here. Next, this is on x axis here. This is the slope. This is the intercept. Okay. Slope is equal to one upon n. That is one upon n. Next question here. Which of the following elements show highest melting points in their respective series? Now here options given. See here elements from the three D, four D, and five D. Three D, four D, five D. Three D, four D, five D. Like this. That is in the respective series which has a highest melting point. Do you know the? periodic table their melting point depends on their number of unpaired electrons okay now here 3d 4d and 5d remember here in this series it has a highest melting point here it has highest melting point and this one that is chromium molybdenum tungsten okay that is therefore answer is chromium molybdenum tungsten remember here not this answer is this one okay next one when liquid benzene is oxidized at a constant pressure and at temperature this one the change in enthalpy that is delta h is given what is the change in internal energy that is we want to determine the delta u equation is given therefore now see here we require first equation that is 
oxidation of benzene that is combustion of benzene okay now here benzene reaction with oxygen that is combustion gives this is oxidized co2 and this is oxidized to water now for balancing c6 therefore 6 h6 therefore 3h2 now balance oxygen remember here one trick count the oxygen from this side 3 and this 12 that is 15 whatever may be the number comes divided by 2 that is 7.5 now first find out delta ng here 6 6 minus 7.5 that is minus 1.5 5 use this equation this formula okay now here i will give you some tips and tricks always remember this delta h delta u and r these three must be in a same unit temperature always in kelvin okay it's one thing now second here this r this one t this one now it is in a kilojoule then the value of this is 2.5 remember this not necessary to calculate every time mostly delta h is given in kilojoule use that in a kilojoule therefore this r is required in kilojoule and the value of this is 2.5 directly use this value okay next now this is delta ng and find out the answer now here one more tip this difference between this delta h and delta u is very less that is these are not differ by uh, that is differ by small value okay not much difference between this see this this is a delta h and this is a delta u now less difference because these are differ only by this much amount okay about the answer delta u is minus 3724 that is answer is this one okay next one the reaction occurs in the following steps steps are given first step is slow this is fast then the rate law expression is rate law depends on slow step of the reaction here reactants are this therefore no2 and f2 with coefficient 1 1 that is answer is this next question anisole on heating with hi gives now here anisole is a aromatic ether now remember here one trick it is difficult to break this bond therefore break this bond now comparatively this is negative this is positive now h here positive and this negative here that is this gives phenol and this gives methyl iodide therefore products are phenol and methyl iodide next question the standard emf of the fall of the galvanic cell involving cell reaction n is equal to 2 e0 cell is given okay the equilibrium constant of the reaction would be we want to find out k okay now we know the formula this one relation between equilibrium constant and e0 cell know this n is equal to 2 E zero cell is given. Okay, now find out this k. Log k is equal to ten. Therefore, k is equal to one into ten raised to ten. That is answer is this one. Next, the ion dipole forces increases in the order for the following. Now here ions given with the plus one, plus two, plus three charges. We should know one information here. The strength of interaction. increases with increase in a charge on cation increases with charge on cation k increases next increases with decrease in ionic size here ionic size decrease therefore this is increase therefore the answer is na plus 1 mg plus 2 and al plus 3 this one next which of the following is diamagnetic species diamagnetic species that is paired electron now see here ligands mostly what happens the strong field ligand pairs up therefore if strong field ligand is there diamagnetic but some exceptions are there you have to find out that 
here nickel because in the last element what happens maybe strong field ligand but maybe one unpaired electron remain find out that here consider this one here this nickel plus 2 then cn is a ligand therefore pairing and it is a diamagnetic that is answer is this next question here the ring structure of glucose is formed by the reaction between glucose that is here we require aldehyde group and that is this one glucose ring structure is formed between carbon number 1 and 5 because more stable 6 carbon atoms therefore this is formed that is aldehyde and 1 5 that is this is the answer next question a substance has a density of this much and it crystallizes in fcc lattice with a edge length equal to 700 picometer then molar mass of the substance is very easy question we know the formula now density is given in this unit first convert that into gram per cm cube because we are using molar mass in gram and this is in centimeter okay then n is equal to 4 because structure is fcc then age length first convert that age length into centimeter gram per cm cube okay remember this and substitute the value and calculate find out the answer now your molar mass is approximately this one hmm? use mostly round figure and calculate and find out the approximate answer now the answer is this one okay now here one tip now here age length is given in picometer 700 picometer that is 700 into 10 raise to minus 10 centimeter now if you use that in the 10 raise to minus 8 form instead of this. Okay. That is, is it equal to this? That is in this form. Then what happens? It comes to be minus 24. And it is always here. 10 raise to 23. Then for easy calculation, generally use in this form. 10 raise to minus 8 form. Okay. Okay. Next. The compound which has one isopropyl group is here names of the compound given. Now see their skeleton. First one is 2, 2, 3, 3 tetramethylpentane. Then this one 2, 2, 3, 3 like this. Now to find out the structure of this. Then we require one isopropyl group. This second last having one more methyl group. Isopropyl group this one. Okay, that is one isopropyl group, option D. Next, what is the geometry of bromine pentafluoride? Bromine pentafluoride molecule. Now, here some tips. See here, interhalogen compounds with X, X dash. That is only two, therefore linear. Okay, here three. That is, remember like this, three, bent, t shape. 5 that is square pyramidal 4 plus this 1 5 then x x dash 7 7 pentagonal bipyramidal 5 and this 2 okay 7 like this remember one now here bromine pentafluoride that is of this type okay these are the examples therefore the structure is square pyramidal square pyramidal this one Next, thalamide is prepared by strong heating of ammonia with, we know this is the thalamide. Therefore, we require thalic acid for the preparation of this with ammonia here, first this salt and then amide, thalamide is formed which gives on strong heating thalamide. That is starting material required here with ammonia is Thalic acid. Thalic acid. Here that is a benzene 1,2 dicarboxylic acid. Here one more option is given. Terthalic acid. That is here two COH groups are present. Exactly opposite to each other. But we require here thalic acid. That is benzene 1,2 two 
dicarboxylic acid. Next on diluting an acidic buffer there is now buffer actually there is no change in pH by diluting or by adding strong amount of strong acid or base it is no change in the pH value. Next question is the incorrect statement regarding solubility of solid in a liquid is okay here solubility depends on the nature of solute and solvent correct statement its unit is this mole per dm cube correct increases with increase in temperature no this is a wrong statement next one the solubility of solute is its amount of per unit volume that it is also correct wrong statement is this one incorrect statement is required it is answer is this now see here remember some points here Question may be asked separately on this point. Solubility increases slightly for these compounds. Increases greatly for these compounds. And solubility decreases for this compound. Okay. Some other examples are also available. But these examples given in our textbook. Okay. On increasing temperature. Okay. Next one. The freezing point and boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure are represented on Fahrenheit scale are respectively. Now we know that and you have to remember 0 degree Celsius that is this one and 100 degree Celsius boiling point is this one. Or you can determine these values by using concept. Now this, this is a freezing point, boiling point on degree Celsius, this difference is 100 degree Celsius and this difference is 180. That is for 1 degree Celsius, 1.8 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, it is this one and add this 32. Okay, therefore boiling point of water in degree Celsius this one, find out this, this is 212 and find out this, this is 32. That is by using formula or concept, you can find out this or remember these values. Okay, next one. Now, the question, next the enthalpy of formation of ammonia is. Now, here bond enthalpies are given. Here, first it is necessary to find out the required equation. Here, equation is this one. Now, this is given, half, this is given. Multiplied by 1.5 and calculate this value is this one. Or you can determine by using this equation. Now here it is for 2 mole. Therefore find out first answer and then divided by 2. Mostly use this method. Okay. Next question number 41 now. IUPAC name of this compound. Now see here, first find out the oxidation number of Fe. Here it is minus 1, it is 0. Therefore, it should be plus 3. Plus 3 minus 1, it is plus 2. Okay, that is 3. That is out of these 3. Now here, this is a ambident ligand. Here joining from this side N. Therefore, it is a isothiocyanatone. Okay, therefore, here isothiocyanato here it is a isothiocyanato this one or this one okay now here it is a cationic complex okay therefore don't use AT write the iron therefore name is penta aqua isothiocyanato iron 3 iron that is this is the answer okay next question the energy of photon of radiation having a wavelength is one. That is, wavelength is given in nanometer. And find out the energy of photon. Here, we know this formula. H is equal to H nu. Okay. Now, given is wavelength. And we want to determine the energy. Now, first remember this here. It is a Planck constant. Unit is this. This velocity of light it is in a meter per second. And use the wavelength in meter. Then this, this cancelled out. This, this cancelled out. 
and now we will get the energy in joule okay now substitute the value and find out the answer but here remember one trick here this and this these values are constant therefore calculate this this is 2 into 10 raised to minus 25 now remember this value therefore calculation becomes very easy and we will get the quick answer this divided by now wavelength in a meter and find out the approximate answer now 5 approximately 5 into 10 raised to minus 19 that is this one answer is this the vapor pressure of an aqueous solution of 1 molar glucose solution at 100 degree celsius is 1 molar glucose solution okay now we want to find out the vapor pressure of solution use this formula okay now here n2 that is 1 molar that is 1 mole glucose this value is 1 m1 water therefore 18 W one, it is one molar solution. That is one kg. Therefore, it is a thousand gram. Now, temperature given hundred degree Celsius. At hundred degree Celsius, the vapor pressure of water is this one. Now, substitute the values and find out the answer. This one. We can use this formula. Okay, answer is nearly same. The answer is seven forty six point thirty two. That is this one. Next question forty four. How many isomers of this formula are secondary amine? Now here one. I have determined this. See this number of isomers for this formula. Okay. Number of isomers out of that primary one and secondary one. Okay, for this formula, total four isomers: primary, this much, secondary, and tertiary. Now the question is for C four H eleven N. C four H eleven N. Total eight isomers out of that primary four, secondary three, and tertiary one. Okay, so information now. determine how many isomers of this are secondary how will you determine this see here c4 means possibilities are secondary amine that is possibilities are either 3 1 or 2 2 carbon atoms carbon 2 2 that is diethyl amine 3 1 that is either it is n propyl or isopropyl that is here n propyl and isopropyl that is total Three secondary amines. That is this one. Next question: Which of the following has the highest melting point and highest boiling point respectively? Hydrides of seventeen group elements. Now here, see this. Not necessary to remember their melting point and boiling point, but here size increases, molar mass increases. Here. the melting point of this is highest while due to hydrogen bond bonding boiling point of this is highest that is hi and hf is the answer hi and hf this one okay next question the poh of buffer solution composed of 0.1 molar weak base and 0.1 molar salt here molarity of base as well as salt same here now here some tips see here if the concentration of these two are same then poh is equal to pkb because the formula is this one this and this same then this is equal to this okay now because this and this same then this becomes one and this value becomes zero therefore if concentrations are same pH is equal to pKb, and if concentration of salt and acid same, then pH is equal to pKa. Okay. Now, here this is equal to this. This value is given. Therefore, find out this pOH is equal to 4.7. This one. Now, here one more trick. Here, this value is minus five. That is, the pOH is 
फोर पॉइंट समथिंग पीओएच इज फोर पॉइंट समथिंग एंड हियर इन द ऑप्शन फोर पॉइंट समथिंग ओनली वन ऑप्शन देर फोर नॉट नेसेसरी टू कैलक्युलेट दिस डिरेक्टली यू कैन राइट दिस एंसर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंस इज इन करेक्ट फॉर एक्टिनोइड इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट दे दे आर ऑल रेडियो एक्टिव एंड मैन मेड इट इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एक्टिनोइड्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव देन लेंथेनोइड्स करेक्ट एक्टिनोइड आयंस आर कलरलेस नो एक्टिनोइड आयंस आर ऑल्सो कलर्ड दैट इज दिस इज इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट नेक्स्ट द यूनिट्स ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन एंड रेट कॉन्स्टंट आर सेम फॉर रिएक्शन ऑफ ऑर्डर नाउ हियर सम टिप्स सी हियर नो द दिस इज यूनिट ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन यू नो दिस दिस इज मोल पर डीएम क्यू पर सेकेंड फॉर एनी ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन द यूनिट ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इज दिस वन नाउ रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्म्यूला फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ के ओके रेट कॉन्स्टेंट हियर दिस फॉर्म्यूला नाउ फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर दिस एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दे आर फॉर वन माइनस जीरो नाउ दिस दिस इज फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर ओके नाउ फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एन इज इक्वल टू वन सब्सिट्यूट दिस फाइंड आउट दिस फॉर सेकेंड ऑर्डर एन इज इक्वल टू टू देन एंसर इज दिस नाउ फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर द यूनिट ऑफ के एंड यूनिट ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन सेम ओके दैट इज अवर एंसर इज जीरो ऑर्डर यू कैन डिटरमाइन द यूनिट ऑफ रेट कॉन्स्टेंट सिंपली बाय सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज लाइक दिस हियर जीरो ऑर्डर मीन्स दिस वन दैट इज यूनिट ऑफ दिस एंड दिस सेम नाउ फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर हियर इट इज अ वन नाउ इट इज अ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड इट इज अ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अपॉन टाइम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कैंसल्ड आउट एंड यूनिट ऑफ के इज पर टाइम इट इज पर सेकेंड लाइक दिस बाय यूजिंग दिस ऑल्सो यू कैन डिटरमाइन द यूनिट ऑफ के नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हियर सिक्वेंस ऑफ रिएक्शन गिवन फाइंड आउट द कंपाउंड सी सी दिस हियर एसिडिलीन इथाइन दिज रिएजन्स फॉर हाइड्रेशन नाउ हाइड्रेशन दैट इज एड वॉटर एक्रॉस दिस बॉन्ड नाउ ऑन वन साइड एच एंड हियर ओ एच नाउ दिस कंपाउंड अंडर गोज टॉटोमराइजेशन दिस बॉन्ड शिफ्टेड हियर एंड दिस शिफ्टेड हियर देर फोर दिस एच हियर नाउ एंड दिस कंपाउंड इज फॉर्म नाउ दिस कंपाउंड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ ड्राई इथर with a grignard reagent now here grignard reagent is added here cs3 and here mgbr this on hydrolysis gives now this bond breaks here h and oh gives a secondary alcohol isopropyl alcohol and which on oxidation with cro3 gives acetone okay that is the this is the answer okay now here the compound c is acetone okay next last question which one of the following statement is correct want to find out the correct statement here graphite and diamond contain sp2 hybridized carbon no incorrect calcite and cristobalite polymorphs of calcium carbonate no sodium fluoride and magnesium oxide are isomorphous pair yes it is a correct yes this is also wrong here i will give you some tips to remember these points here remember isomorphous pair which are given in our textbook here ratio is 1 to 1 here also 1 to 1 isomorphous pair here 1 1 3 1 1 3 isomorphous pair it is a correct statement okay now remember these points some mcq may be asked on this point calcium carbonate polymorphs are that is same compound in a different forms under a different condition calcite and aragonite how to remember this c here c calcite a aragonite okay calcium carbonate these two forms 
सिलिका डिफरेंट कॉर्ड्स आर देयर हियर सम गिवन एग्जांपल्स फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट बुक अल्फा कॉर्ड्स बीटा कॉर्ड्स एंड क्रिस्टोबोलाइट रिमेंबर लाइक दिस ए बी सी लाइक दिस ओके देन दोस एलिमेंट्स शोस द पॉलीमॉर्फ्स कॉल्ड एज एलोट्रोप्स यू नो द एलोट्रोप्स ऑफ कार्बन ग्राफाइट डायमंड फुलेरिन आउट ऑफ दैट दिस एंड दिस आर sp2 हाइब्रिडाइज ओके इन दिस वे यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सम पॉलीमॉर्फ्स एंड ऑफ डिफरेंट कंपाउंड्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ सब्सटेंस हैज अ डेंसिटी दिस मच एंड इट क्रिस्टलाइजेस इन fcc लैटिस with the age length equal to 700 picometer then the molar mass of the substance is very simple question see here given information this one the density is given in this unit that is this same it is a 2 g per cm cube okay n is equal to 4 that is fcc structure now here age length is given in picometer first convert that into centimeter okay here it is in a molar mass is in a gram 